we've all been to the pet stores and bought plants with the weights and the sponge attached to them to weigh them down. Um, the whole purpose of this video today is to prove that it is possible to grow some of the heavy root feeders like Echinodorus, you know, Amazon swords and that are part of the same family. Um, Cryptochorine, they're also very heavy root feeders and that. The root network is pretty extensive. So I've got a couple of uh, plants up here, some very small ones here. And uh, a couple of medium sized plants. So there's some roots on there, and some pretty decent reasonable growth. We've got some immersed growth up there. So what I'm going to do is plant them into these plastic pots that come with uh, the rock wool and the clay weights. So what we're going to do is Place that in. With the rock wall. And voila. And we'll see how that does. I'm going to pop this into a fish tank. It's not going to be placed onto the substrate. This is going to be floated on um, some driftwood branches, for example, and we'll see if that plant will turn out to be healthy or is it going to die off. I've got a couple more pots up here, so I'm going to do the same thing with uh, the other one. Given the size of these two up here, I'm just going to pop them in one pot. So a lot of people say that no, it's not possible. You know, plants will die and la di da and a whole lot of excuses. Um, I say that it is possible. The plants will grow. They will turn out healthy, and there shouldn't be any issues in that. Um, naturally any plant does need access to nutrients and it will obviously do a lot better in a plant nutrient base however sometimes it's not possible to have a nutrient base not depending on the type of fish you've got and everyone recommends that no no you should plant these pots under the gravel or you know you, which can be done um, but like i said the whole point is to see if these plants will turn out to be healthy. So I've got four plants, two medium sized ones, and then there's two smaller ones in, that, in uh, these plastic pots. And we'll see how this does in uh, pretty much a month's time, see if there's any decent growth and how it all turns out. All right, so I've got the plants in, that, in this tank. That one's just pretty much on the driftwood. There's no access to the nutrient base. The one up there's still soaking up water, and that's so eventually it will settle down and it should sit on the branch that's there. And then we've got the two small ones. <coughs> 